Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn SonarCube integration for Node.js project. And here you can see here I'm using droplet of DigitalOcean and this is Ubuntu droplet. And in Ubuntu droplet, we are going to install GitLab runner and Node.js. So here I'm using droplet of DigitalOcean. Then here you can see this is my SonarCube dashboard and in my SonarCube I have two projects first my app then SonarCube Java Gradle. Then here this is my repository with the name Node.js project and in my repository I have few files you can see here and now the first step is we are going to install GitLab runner on our digital ocean droplet that means this Ubuntu droplet. So you can see here this is the official page of GitLab runner. You can install from here also so here you can see i have already installed gitlab runner and this is my runner and here you can see my runner so you can install from here and then you can register runner from here you can see uh, the command for linux so this is my runner uh, so now the next step is we are going to install node.js on our digital ocean droplet so the first step is we need to update our system package So it's done now clear the screen and then the next step is we need to install node.js so using curl command now it's done now clear the screen and now we are going to install node.js So it's done, now clear the screen. Now, if you want to check the version of your Node.js, then you can run the command node-v. So you can see here the version. Now clear the screen. And now the next step is, now we are, we are going to download the sonar scanner package. So firstly, we need to make a directory. And then, we need to insert this directory that we have created. And now we are going to download the sonar scanner using wget command. Now clear the screen. And here, now the next step is install unzip if you don't have. So now we are going to install this unzip package. Now it's done. So clear the screen. And now we are going to unzip this sonar scanner zip file. So it's done. And now the next step is move to this directory. So now we are going to move to this slash opt directory. Then we are going to edit this uh, sonar scanner dot properties file and in this property file we are going to add these two lines so here we need to uncomment this line now save the file and exit now the next step is create a file to automate the required environment variable configuration using this command. Now we are going to add creating new file and in this new file, we are going to add this environment variables.
Now save the file and exit. And now use this source command to add the sonar scanner command to the path variable. Okay, it's done. Now, if you want to check the version of your sonar scanner, then you can run the command sonar scanner hyphen V. So you can see here the details of your sonar scanner. Now it's done. Now the next step is create a new file in your repository with the name sonar hyphen project dot properties. And in this directory, we are going to add these two lines. So go to your repository and click on repository, then files. And here we are going to add new file. Click on this plus icon, then new file. And here enter your file name. And here your project key Node.js project. Now click on commit changes. Now it's done. Now Let's check the next step. So the next step is we are going to add variables in your uh, repository. So we are going to add three variables in our repository. So firstly, go to your settings, then CICD. And here we need to add three variables. So the variable is, if you scroll down, you can see the variable. So click on expand and here add variables. So the first variable is sonar scanner sorry sonar host url so copy the url and paste here and remove this protect variable flag and then add variable then the second variable is sonar login that means your username Then the third variable is sonar password. Remove protect variable flag and add variable. Okay, now it's done. Now let's check the next step. So the next step is create a GitLab CI YML file in your repository. That means our that means our pipeline. So copy the code and now we are going to create our pipeline. So click on repository, then files. And now we are going to create a pipeline. So click on this plus icon, then add no, sorry, new file. And here enter pipeline name that means dot gitlab ci.yml and paste the code. So here you can see the image name, then variables, and then in script, you can see a sonar scanner, then sonar host URL, that means sonar host URL that we have added in variable, then sonar login, so sonar login, then sonar password, so sonar password. Now click on commit changes. And now let's check our pipeline. So you can see it's running, so click on it. So wait for a few seconds. It 
So you can see here the message job succeed. So let's check in Sonar Cube. So refresh the page. And here you can see our project Node.js project that we have added in project key that the name DevOps in slash Node.js project. So it's done. So in this video, we have learned SonarCube integration for Node.js project. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.